Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Ghazim from DragonBlogger.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to assemble the Thermaltech Water 3.0 Ultimate CPU Cooler for Intel build. The process is similar for AMD build but you just need to use different brackets for it. So you're going to need these screws for the fans, this upper bracket, the lower bracket, the LG socket mounting screws and the locking parts for the back plate and the back plate itself. And to mount it on the case, you're going to need these smaller screws with the washers. So let's go ahead and mount the fans on the radiator first. To mount the three 120mm PWM fans, you're going to need the 12 longest screws provided with the cooler. So firstly, place the fans over the radiator like this. And before installing the screws, make sure you have the wires on the correct side of the radiator. Like if you're going to install the radiator on the back side or at the top of your case, uh, chassis, you'd want the wires to be on the right side of the radiator for better wire concealing. But since I'll be installing it in the Core Pre 3 chassis on the right side with the fans on the front, so I want these wires to be on the right side, so I can take them through the wire management grommets. Now just align the screw holes and tighten the screws one by one. I usually insert the screw by hand for quicker and easier installation to the point where I can and tighten them up later with the screwdrivers. And that's how the radiator will look once the fans are installed. So let's go ahead and make the mounting kit. For mounting the base plate, you're going to take this upper bracket and insert this part with the two legs above the hole on the bracket. Then take the part with the three legs and place it under the bracket like this. Then apply some force and both parts will interlock themselves. Just make sure there is a perfect hole visible when you are doing this, otherwise you are going to need to disassemble them with some tools which is a big hassle. Now do the same for the other three holes. Once they are installed, you may notice that some of the holes are near the outer side of the bracket while some towards the inside. For the IG series, we need these holes towards the inside so you just so you can just rotate them from the beneath and they will be in position. Now insert these LGA socket thumb screws from the above. Uh, the AMD screws have a length difference so you'll notice once you look at the manual. Now take the pump, you'll notice the locking mechanism similarity. They'll lock themselves in these small holes. Just hold the pump like this, attach the upper bracket like this, rotate it a little and pull it outwards and they'll, and they'll be locked. But they still need their lower bracket for a complete lock so take this, uh, take this ring bracket and insert it in the gap like this between the locks and push the edges. Once you see the edges of the ring over the upper bracket, you'll know that they're locked. Now all you need is to install the backplate from the from underneath the motherboard and they're done. By the way the backplate also features holes that are movable so you can use the same, back, uh, same backplate with both Intel and AMD sockets. So next up I'll be doing a complete Thermaltake Core P3 build video in which I'll show you how to install the Water 3.0 Ultimate as well. So don't forget to check that out. Amit Kasim out.